A new look at the Hudson River after dark. What other obstacles did an alleged drunk boater face when his boat slammed into a barge, killing a bride to be and the best man? Good evening at 11 o'clock. I'm Shade Better in Wong. And I, Bill Ritter. Critics say this boating tragedy is shedding new light on an old problem near the Tappan Zee Bridge. We're also hearing the heartbreaking new details on the deaths of Lindsay Stewart and Mark Lennon. Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Lee is in Piermont with new information and our lead story. Carolina? Bill and Sade, let's start with the most important part, and that is the victims. The groom is in critical condition at the hospital. He has very bad injuries to his left eye socket and his face. His fiance's parents say that they wanted to bury their daughter in her wedding dress, but because of her injuries, they can't do that. They need to have a closed casket. This, as they're asking questions about the lights out here on the Hudson, wondering if this nightmare could have been prevented. The big question tonight, were those barges reasonably lit? John Lipscone and many experienced boaters we spoke to say, yes, they meet federal regulations, but they're just not adequate. It was probably a combination of going a little too fast and not enough light, enough to satisfy the law. We don't know what it looked like when Lindsay Stewart, her fiance and friends took a speedboat from Piermont to Terrytown Friday night. But here's a look at the same barges this Monday under the night sky. There were a number of people in this boat. And um, so there wasn't just one set of eyes looking forward. The bride's family agrees, telling me off camera that there should have been better lighting. Lindsay Stewart was supposed to get married a week from Sunday. She died from severe head trauma and drowning. Mark Lennon, the best man at the wedding, also drowned. Stewart's family is praying her fiance, Brian Bond, will be able to leave the hospital to attend their funerals Thursday. Both were very individuals in their own sense, but when they came together, they just lit up. Elizabeth Bertolino lived upstairs from the couple's Piermont home. She says they were perfect for each other. Now their family and friends are forced to say goodbye at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Pearl River, the same place they were expected to watch the couple say, I do. They were going to start a beautiful life together. As for the suspect, the boat's operator, Jojo John, he is charged with vehicular manslaughter and vehicular assault. The 35-year-old Nyack man is also suspected of operating that boat while intoxicated. Reporting live in Piermont, I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Carolina, thank you.